there when it was so beautiful on Tuesday. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a great day it was. Okay, all right. So we took a tour of one of our area's most beautiful parks. I think it's about a thousand acres of land, tons of trails, wow. and one of the most drop dead beautiful vistas I've seen in our area. It has a nationally ranked, in fact, I'm told a world ranked hmm. disc golf course. How cool is that? I got a tour from Ranger Mark Shaw. Mine went the other way. Hey, for being. <laughs> I think that there's um, a skill here that needs to be learned. Let's go get it. Well, go ahead and tell me a little bit about the history of the park. It's interesting because this at one time was going to be a golf course, and now it yeah. kind of still is. Exactly correct. So back in 1968, the park was established. But prior to this being a state park, this part of the park was set up as a traditional golf course. And due to some um, issues with the prior owner, the state acquired the land and the state turned this into a disc golf course versus a traditional golf course. So year over year, we've been in the top ranked courses globally. If you're a fan of disc golf, this is the course you want to come out and play. It is among the best in the world. This is the Milo K. McIver Memorial Viewpoint. So here you get a really nice spread of the Clackamas River, knockout views in Mount Hood, Mount Adams, and Helens all the way to the left. So it's a 180 degree perfect vista here. In the mornings, you often get fog that builds over the river. As the sun comes over the crest and hits that fog, you get awesome colors. The fog rises up. So this is known for phenomenal sunrises. It's a beautiful view, that's for sure. We have one 53 site campground. We have tent and RVs within that. Then we have three group camps as well. And they're very nice sites. You have some extra room, they're private. There's some vegetation buffers between each site. So it's a nice camping experience. Ranger Mark, by the way, told me in the, in the summers, you can imagine, that place gets packed with people wanting to float on the river. They have a number of uh, great landing spots to do that as well. Really nice. So Estacada is our focus this morning. Rod would have been there if he didn't have to stay here to focus on yeah, our weather this yeah. weekend. But we're going to keep Rod on the road on Fridays. We need to know where we should send him next, though. That's where you jump in. Send us your ideas. Where should we send Rodney next? You can email suggestions to mykgw at kgw.com, or you can post your suggestions online using the hashtag IamUpPDX.